Well, hey, pre-K parents, this is Jeff, and I'm here with this week's Continue the Journey activity. These activities are designed to partner with you as you help your child on their journey to find and follow Jesus this week, and this activity is called Let's Wrap. Uh, our our pre-K experience this week, we uh, talked about the big idea that uh, we can ask Jesus for help, and we took a look at one of the more famous stories in all of the Bible in John chapter 11, where Jesus raises his friend Lazarus from the dead. An incredible experience. All you're going to need for this activity are some things that you have around the house. You'll need a way to tell the Bible story. Uh, I use this pre-K Bible right here. This has been one of my absolute favorites that I've found throughout the years, published by, uh, by B&H Kids. Uh, this is one of the ones that has the most amount of Bible stories, which is one of the reasons I love it. And the artwork is spectacular and all the things you'd expect out of a pre-K Bible. But whatever pre-K Bible, you can use your big grown-up Bible. You can head uh, to, to the app store and get, uh, there's all kinds of kids' Bibles available, avail, available there. You can also find videos of these on YouTube that, that are told. So however you want to share the Bible story with your kid, however you know your kid is going to receive it best, that is, that's up to you. So you'll need that, and then the other thing you're going to need is something that is a little bit less like gold today than it was maybe six months ago, and that is two or three rolls of toilet paper. Man, I, if I was here six months ago telling you to use your toilet paper in an activity, you would have turned it off right away. You've been like, toilet paper, that's too valuable, but now it's, it's, it's just toilet paper again, so we can use it. And here's uh, what we're going to be doing. So, of course, the story of Lazarus, if you know it, uh, or if you don't, let me remind you that uh, Lazarus died and is placed in a tomb. And back in those days, people were wrapped from head to foot in kind of a burial linen, uh, what we're going to use toilet paper for today. And then a big stone was rolled in front of the tomb. And then they would they would be there for a while until their, uh, their stuff uh, disintegrated and only the bones were left. And then they would remove the bones. We're not going to do anything with anything disintegrating or bones today. Here's what you're going to do with your child, though. You're going to say, I want you to be Lazarus. And then you are going to wrap them up in toilet paper. If you think that's too scary for them, uh, have someone else be Lazarus. I don't want anyone to be scared, uh, you know, like, oh, no, I have to be dead or anything like that. But I think most kids will just love uh, the whole wrapping in toilet paper process. So whether you have your kids do that, you do that, maybe an older brother or sister do that, wrap someone up in toilet paper um, and say... Well, this is it. Um, this is uh, this is our Bible story this week. There was a man named Lazarus who died, and let me tell you the story. And as they're wrapped up in toilet paper, you've got a captive audience. Read the story from John chapter 11 of Lazarus. Until you get to the part where they unroll the, to the stone away from the tomb, and Jesus shouts, Lazarus, come out. And then you're going to give your child the instruction to break off that toilet paper and jump up, just like Lazarus did in the story. Then you can continue the story of Lazarus, how Lazarus did come back to life. This is going to be a really great way for your child to kind of internalize what the story is all about and to remember this miraculous event where Jesus raised his friend Lazarus from the dead. And remind them that Lazarus died in the story, but he didn't stay dead because Jesus is God. And Jesus has the power to help us in any situation. Jesus is amazing. Whether we're scared, uh, whether we're sick, whether we're hurt, whether we're tempted to be mean to someone, Jesus can always help us. And our big idea this week is that we can ask Jesus for help. I hope that you have a whole lot of fun just giggling and laughing, wrapping people up as toilet paper, and telling this amazing miracle to your kids from John chapter 11. And this activity, let's wrap. And I hope it really helps your kids on their journey to find Jesus, fall in love with him, and follow him now and for the rest of their lives. And to know without a shadow of a doubt that they can ask Jesus for help anytime they need it. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Bye-bye, guys.